Wow, it's fully charged already. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's cold this morning. Pete's playing his mandolin. He's having some tea and some breakfast and warming up by the heater. I'm gonna go into work today. I got a lot of adult things to do, a lot of business stuff I gotta get taken care of. I'm with the Paper Sailor Incorporated as well. So I might, uh, after work, have to kind of sit down and do that for a little while as well. Be working, but hopefully, Pete will get that cutlass bearing filmed because I really want to see it. I don't know how to do it or anything about it, so it would be cool if Pete would film that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little while. get a wrench for that prop and another 2x4 too so I can pull that off. I might do that today. That aft cabin, man, I need to work on it some, but uh, I don't want to start tearing it apart until it looks like we got a good forecast. This week looks like rain over and rain over and rain over and rain over. Yeah, you might as well work on the mm -hmm. copper. I think I will. And, and sanding down that keel and painting it. Yeah, I need you to help me with that. Okay. I'll get everything ready though. Third gear first. Oh, there you gotta goes go in third first. Gear. Yeah. I don't know why. Even you try uh, to get it into second when you're trying to pop it into second gear, you have to go into third. Bless you. Pete's eating some lunch, and he told me that he recorded today. Uh, I'm going to take a, a nap, I think, real quick, because my brain is fried. My brain is melting because of all the thinking I had to do today. <laughs> today was Monday. Yeah, Monday. It was very Monday. Turn it off. I do know chocolate. Cabin sides are painted. I don't know. Oh, it's nice. Wow. <sighs> Water my plants. <laughs> I love to see how much the plants move after I water them. It's kind of cool. Reminds you that they're alive. I think I'm going to do a load of laundry. Why not, right? Good. He's got to put another coat on and then, um, and then we can start putting the, the screens back on. They look much better. 
see. He said he did the prop too. Earth. That's pretty wild. I don't know nothing about that stuff. I'll be interested to see what it looks like on the video. And the thing got stuck. Looks like it's gonna work there. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> and I need to break this spot out, and and if this stops the leak, then we know to come back and and this is the spot, you know. Right. Now don't touch it. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't touch it. Oh, he's got another seam over there. Well, well. So what are you going to do about... This might be that other drip that was up down there by your... Look at that one. That might be the other one. Did you have one there? spots that you know need some some caulking on it and you can kind of tell because I'll just point them out to you so you can see the cracks so you know that those are leaking right there yeah that's a bad leak right there I bet off the prop puller that we borrowed and uh, pick up a new battery for Pete. Pete got a new battery for his truck. But I guess he said he painted up where he had to do those repairs. Beat it, seal it off, and put a smiley face on it. I think I'm just gonna wrap it up today, and, uh, and this will be the end of filming for the day. Cause Pete told me that he wanted me to look at what I felt, what he filmed. Film the hamburger cooking. That'll be the end of your day. Yeah. Me cooking you dinner. Him cooking me meat. Come on. Yeah. Give me another. I love you.
Sweet pea. Make me a so hamburger, sweet. Cotton. I got a tomato. What else we got in here? I need an onion. Oops, something dropped and an onion. What was that? Oh, glasses. So, anyways, I want to see what Pete filmed today, so I'm going to check out what he filmed. Oh, we got to fix the stove, too. Oh, yeah, our stove stopped being non gimbaled so we can't lock it so it stops being a gimbaled stove. Hope you guys are having a good day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, the first thing was to put this block of wood, two blocks of wood near to hold the prop, and then take off the nut. So I was prying this this way, get that nut off. Once that's loose, I'm just gonna leave that nut on there and put the prop pull on. I'll show you that in just a minute. All right, we got the prop off by putting this prop puller on here and uh, tightening this nut. I didn't film it because I was in the middle of doing it. I apologize. But this was on there, just like this, behind the prop, like that. And then now you tighten this nut so it goes out. And you beat on that with a hammer right there until it pops. Someone had it all messed up. Someone had the nut over on this side, which doesn't do any good. You got to have it on this side. So as you're tight, as you're going out with it, it levers this, pinches this together. It took some doing and some pounding on that brass there. You want to hit it here. You don't want to hit it back here too much. I didn't have much room to hit right in there, but we got it. And then. I loosened that up and knocked it forward enough to pry it out here without fucking the threads up. Prying that out. Clean that up. And now we're going to undo these two nuts and slide this off the shaft. Instead of taking the shaft out, instead of trying to pull the shaft out of the motor, we're going to pull this off the shaft and it should just clear through here, we hope. <laughs> Okay, the nuts are off, and now we got to try to pry this out. I'm going to take a screwdriver on each side and pry it out. I think I film that in there. Pointing to it. Oh, it is. Okay, I'll try that. So there we got that loose, and we'll sand that down a little, clean that up. Put the new cutlass bearing in, which is this bearing inside here. It's really not too bad, but while we're hauled out, I figured I might as well. Okay. I just got done taking the prop off, and now we're going to paint this front section here, just to show you how things change quickly. We went from being grease monkeys to painting. So I washed my hands, and now I'm going to put some paint on because it's a beautiful day. Look at all the birds. Can you see those? 